Dominion Voting Systems has sued attorney Sidney Powell, the author of the Kraken lawsuits, for $1.3 billion. You heard that right. That's billion with a B. Now I'm going to talk briefly about why they're doing this, and then we're going to talk about the lawsuit. And I'll be talking more about why they're doing this in a greater narrative in a different video. But for the purposes of this one, it's because this is war at this point, an ideological war largely between the left and the right. This country is divided ideologically in a way that it hasn't been in a long time. And we see this with escalating violence and other things. But again, this is a longer narrative. Right now, the left has won, and now they must punish their opponents. They will punish either through lawsuits, through censorship, or through arrest and prosecution. They will punish their political opponents. So that's coming. So much for a peaceful transition of power, right? Anyway, let's talk about this lawsuit. So this is the document. It's 125 pages, so I will not go through all of it in this video because that would take far too long. It is brought by Dominion against Sidney Powell and her organizations, her law firm, and her legal defense fund defending the Republic. They are suing all of them. And they are suing them for defamation and unfair business practices, which stems from the defamation. It's a derivative, it's a derivative claim in this suit, okay? So I'm not going to keep that up there because there's no reason to. I'm not going to scroll through it. I encourage you to download the document. It'll be linked in the description below. You might be in it. If you're on Twitter and you've talked about this, your tweet may be in the lawsuit. Go check it out. Drop a comment down below. Tell me what you think about it. But let's talk about what a defamation action against Dominion is, or I guess against Sidney Powell in regards to Dominion is, uh, and what, what can be expected. The reality is that this is what is called lawfare. This is using the legal system to punish your opponents, and Dominion is happily doing that. This will be costly, time-consuming, and maybe reputation-damaging for Sidney Powell. But they are alleging, essentially, that Sidney lied about Dominion to other people and that that caused Dominion damages. Now, Dominion is what we would call a public figure because Dominion contracted with the government to participate in the 2020 election. Dominion has put itself into the public sphere and comments about those public activities will likely be covered by what's called the public figure doctrine, which means that this is a public figure and they have less protection in things like defamation than uh, a normal person or a normal corporation would. Because they're participating publicly, people are allowed to talk publicly. This is part of our First Amendment right of free speech and free expression. Something Dominion is trying to stifle here. Let's, let's just be honest and upfront about what it is. This lawsuit is a reaction to things Sidney Powell has said, and they don't want her to say them anymore. So, they threatened her, they told her to stop saying them to make retractions, and then uh, they did not get what they wanted, so they are now suing Sidney Powell. Okay. Was Dominion actually damaged by this? I'm not quite sure that they were, because they contract with governments. And uh, as far as I know, most of the governments thought that their voting results were A-OK. -okay. That's at least part of the argument that Dominion puts forward in this lawsuit, which kind of undermines their case. But let's get back to it. So they have to prove that Sidney Powell lied about them to someone else, and it caused damage. And they have one additional step, and this is why I bring up the public figure. Because they're public figures, they have to prove that Sidney Powell either knowingly lied or recklessly disregarded truthful information. So basically that Sidney Powell either knew she was lying or that she should have known she was lying and went ahead anyway. I think that this will be the big hang up for them as it typically is in a public figure defamation suit. That Sidney Powell seems to genuinely believe what she said. She has uh, her collection of evidence and they say her evidence is bogus, but she has it. So the, she will claim that she is basing her opinions on this evidence. And she actually has one more thing going for her that, uh, that doesn't always come up in defamation lawsuits. And that is 
a liability shield for what you genuinely put into a lawsuit. Most of Sidney Powell's claims, now Dominion is going to talk about claims she made on television and in publications elsewhere, but most of her claims are contained in the lawsuits that she brought. And it's really hard to defame someone in a lawsuit, a complaint that many lawyers uh, actually have because their clients continue to be defamed in these public filings. But if the purpose of the filing is a legitimate attempt at pursuing a judicial resolution, then we want people to speak candidly and openly, and those typically are protected from things like defamation. Now, Dominion knows this, of course. This isn't about winning against Sidney Powell. This is about punishing Sidney Powell and punishing their political opponents and scaring their critics. That's what this is about. But that doesn't mean that they don't have a cognizable claim. I mean, they can bring a claim for defamation even if they're wrong. Interestingly, they're not saying that about Sidney Powell. They're saying that her claims were wrong, therefore she should be punished. But that's, again, neither here nor there. The reality is, did Sidney Powell lie to someone else about Dominion, causing them damage, and did she know that she was lying while they were doing it? That is what they have to prove. Now, this is brought in the District of Columbia. To my knowledge, there is nothing in the District of Columbia that would allow Sydney to slap back with an anti-slap sort of action. A slap is a strategic lawsuit against per public participation, S-L-A-P-P. -P. That is probably strategically brought in the District of Columbia to avoid an anti-slap action, but this will be uh, a regular lawsuit. They have demanded a jury trial, and this will probably take a little bit. The expected response from Sidney Powell is to file a motion to dismiss, citing her right to free speech and the fact that she spoke truthfully. That's, that's the basics of it. We will have to follow along and see what happens. Uh, I do not expect that this lawsuit is intended for victory, um, but that is something that remains to be seen. The 1.3 billion number is absolutely ridiculous and again is meant to grab headlines. The only problem with this, or the big problem with this, I shouldn't say the only, there are lots of problems with this lawsuit, but the big problems with this is this is a public fight over a highly politicized event and this is a lawsuit where speech is protected at its maximum at its maximum in political public discourse. Sydney didn't go behind Dominion's backs to competitors or distributors to try and try and ruin their pub, uh, professional reputation. She went in public about a public activity and she spoke about it. And it is in regards to one of the most consequential events of the last four years, the presidential election. If we're not allowed to talk about the presidential election to criticize our government officials and, importantly, the private companies that contract with them, what are we allowed to talk about? We'll be talking more about this subject and others, so if you like it, hit subscribe, hit like, engage in the comments below. Let's discuss these issues. I will talk to you very soon. Peace. Peace.